Today I'm going to show you the basic process of making a blood film in the laboratory. I've got my EDTA tube here, two wooden applicator sticks, a spreader and the blood slide. So I'm going to start by making the blood nice and homogeneous by inversion about five times. Not too fast, you don't want to make blood any bubbles. Open the tube. You insert your applicator sticks. You want to give it a nice mix to check for any clots. Pull the sticks out. So no clots, they will stick to the, the, um, the sticks. And get a nice drop of blood on the slide. Not too big, about that size. Grab your spreader, hit the slide in front of the drop and pull it back to the drop. It'll spread across the spreader and then a nice fluid motion forward until you hit the edge of the slide. And then you've got a nice smear. It's got a feathered edge, ends about halfway up the side of the slide and that's how you make a blood film. So the next stage is to um, stain your smear. So after you let it dry, um, let it dry by air drying it or in front of a fan, but nothing with heat like a hair dryer. Um, I'll show you the, the diff quick method of staining. So I've got my fixative, my quick dip one and quick dip two, and then some rinsing water. So the first step is 10 dips in the fixative. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drain off the excess. Ten dips in dip one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drain off the excess. And then ten dips in dip two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then rinse off in water. And there you have your stained slide. Just let it dry and it's ready for reading.